All right, Mike here at skyinclude.com or skyinclude slash on Handshake. So it's April 2022. Coming on, well, it's past two years for Handshake, almost two years for our company and me. So it's, I see it all the time in the groups and chats. How do I make a website on Handshake? How do I make a Handshake website? We at Sky Include have done 100, over 100 videos, I think like 130 videos of all the different tools and systems and processes and pieces but today i'm kind of just saying hey it's it's q1 or oh, q2 2022 i'm gonna kind of like connect some of the key videos i've made and the key points and put on skyinclude.com slash website dash guide so you can find those easily or i'll put it on show notes in youtube so long as i don't delete my videos and let's keep on going here so essentially it's the same as a, as a normal website, basically. You can go on skyinclude.com slash start to get an overview with a beginner's guide and over blockchain guide and tons of different stuff, which would be a good one to look at too. But essentially, it's just a, like a normal domain, except you kind of, right now in 2022, there's still a lot of these DNS services that don't recognize or connect to the Handshake blockchain to recognize the domains. Hopefully that'll keep changing with you and me using it more and asking more people about it. So essentially it's it's that. So going back to my kind of like Google Doc to become the blog, the essentially the idea is you got to choose a domain name. So there's three different ways in Handshake uh, to choose to do that. In my opinion, in my experience is um, an SLD or a TLD. And do you have your own Handshake TLD or do you rent one from like somebody else? So the core of Handshake is it's a TLD blockchain. So it doesn't sell .com right now, but .com is a, is a TLD. So we have .sky include, right? And so the most clear one is our Handshake domain is actually S works now. So set up .sky include is our Handshake domain is SLD. Uh, we do have something on Sky Include at the bare root. Sorry, I don't have. Uh, I have to kind of still do the hack because I'm on Chinese internet. But you could just do Sky Include slash yourself. You can view it yourself. And we list, we just keep it like a splash page. We don't want to, normally we don't build out a full site on the root bare TLD. You know what I mean? So normally if you had a resolver, it would be like this. Uh, I don't. I don't know, I don't want to say I don't recommend, but it's just a little bit more tricky if you get it on a bare TLD. So usually we recommend an SLD. Most hosting providers are used to SLDs, not just bare TLDs. Maybe in the future that will change. But that's the first step, okay, is what domain you're going to use. And then if you're going to use this, are you going to buy it from, you know, name-based market? Are you going to open an auction? Um, you know, are you going to buy it from maybe Flingo Headshake? Auctions, which we're doing next week on April 20th, 420. Um, where will you get this? Or are you going to go to like gateway.io or uh, Porkbun or Incirca or others and uh, buy one? You know, like a .c is popular. Like we have, I have michael.c. So you could also just get a normal domain from a, uh, a registrar. Namecheap's also supporting them now. So you can, I have .p, r.p and name cheap so you can just choose where you're going to get your domain name just like godaddy or well now name cheap is second biggest and has handshake basically what domain and that's basically all there is to handshake really it's a domain name so i could almost skip the rest but uh for the completeness of this video you're going to choose which one right after that you got to choose where you're going to host your website right or you're just going to be a domainer or a squatter. I really recommend to build on Handshake. That's why we built Handshake. Um, uh, Sky Includes service. Even we have skyinclude.com slash port. And we've actually done this as a service for a few people where we've helped bring their websites from the normal web to Handshake or Web3. We've done this. We're doing a couple right now. So if you want to talk to us and you don't want to do it yourself, you want our team to do it, you can go here. Um, but of course, I'm teaching you here. So let's keep going. So I recommend Cloudways. Um, it's not a decentralized, it's a centralized, you know, it's actually using DigitalOcean or different ones, but it just makes it a really easy interface. 
Uh, and we do have an affiliate link. You know, I don't know how many people have even used it, but I, we get a little small commission here. So if you want to buy us a cup of coffee, you can use our affiliate link. No extra cost to you. Just putting that out there. So anyways, I'm in the back end of the Cloudways. Makes a nice little easy interface for people like maybe you and me. So you go to the domain management tool. You basically install, you know, WordPress or your own website, whatever you like. And then you go to your domain. And as of now, they're allowing me to just type it in. It's not like verifying with DNS or, uh, you know, the ICANN de domains. It's uh, just allowing me to put any domain. And then I save. And then I copy the, uh, the CNAME record. And I point it. So I've been using hshub.io. It's a free service. So you can see here, CNAME, Handshake dot conference and then I put the cloudways URL okay so that's that's kind of like what I suggest if you want like WordPress or uh, easy websites um, you know static websites whatever um, that's what I would and it also supports HTTPS because you have TSLA you can I'm jumping ahead a little bit okay so let me just stick you got to choose your hosting. You could also do Akash or AKT. We've done that a bit. Or you can use Saya if you want these because a lot of people want decentralized domain and decentralized hosting. So Cloudways, just full disclosure, is not a decentralized hosting. It's a normal one. It's basically maybe they will in the future. But, you know, you plug in a server, DigitalOcean or AWS or others, and it, it does it for you there. You can check out the video I made about that. I'll link that also at skyinclude.com slash cloudways okay so that's the hosting right so just to kind of go where we are first is the domain and the second is the hosting and then of course you need a dns management so <clears throat> hs hub skyinclude.com slash hs hub i made a video about this here basically it's kind of was a missing piece that a lot of us needed uh you know jordan eskimo dev they're doing amazing things and terrence they're doing amazing things so you basically uh point your TLD to their service uh, and then you can do it on Namebase, you can do it on Bob Wallet. Uh, I got the guide here but this is basically like kind of like Cloudflare. In my opinion it's like Cloudflare. So if you know Cloudflare you point, you say you buy a domain in GoDaddy in the normal web and then you point your name server to Cloudflare and then because they have DDoS protection and it's much more advanced and then from Cloudflare you would set your DNS settings. In Handshake I don't think Cloudflare still supports handshake domains, so they made HS Hub. And then, you know, I showed the interface already, but it's like this. You add on, you verify with your different settings, and then you can add your records. You can add A names, C names, text records, etc., cetera, uh, and also, you know, SSL stuff for Dean. And then the last piece is, like, as Matt Sipkin said, there's no security. There's no business without security. So we finally, you know, because they did that, um, HS Hub is built. We, uh, we were able to make uh, SSL. I, I don't know how to do it on name, name basis uh, DNS as of recording this, um, so I couldn't do it there. But now we have handshake.conferences on HTTPS. So you, you need, of course, a resolver uh, to do that, like fingertip browser or others. But basically, um, you know, also Matt Zip can, of course, help us out. Terrence have been chatting, and uh, you, you can do this. And you can watch our video at skyinclude.com slash SSL. So let me go back to my Google Doc, which will become a blog post. Hopefully this makes sense. But in summary, those are the main pieces, right, of, of a website. A domain name, which is hopefully you can use a handshake domain. You got a few choices of how to set up and choose a handshake domain. Then you got hosting. You got to choose decentralized or centralized or the normal, right? Like I said, a Cloudways is kind of the easier one that supports handshake domains. And after you get the hosting, you need to, of course, point to DNS. So I'm currently using HS Hub for that. And then because they support TSLA records, you can set up SSLs. And we have a video about how to set up SSL. And then I think that's kind of like, I feel like we got all the major pieces right now. Of course, we need more browser adoption, Brave. Maybe we'll do it someday. Or Opera, I think, is coming. Uh, you know, there's fi fingertips. A plugin. There's a. Um, I can't wait for Beacon Browser to keep expanding onto desktop and Android. They're on iOS right now, so there's just amazing things happening. But basically, I hope this makes sense. 
please keep using this. Please keep asking questions. You know, maybe you use another hosting provider. I've opened support tickets at Netlify. I use a lot of Netlify, but they don't support handshake domains as of I know right now. But keep sending them. Maybe send them this link, send them this video, um, send them other guides, send them handshake.org. <clears throat> the more they keep hearing about it from their customers, their users, the more that these hosting providers and DNS providers and browsers will pay attention to it. So thanks for watching. Mike here, skyinclude.com, uh, and this blog post will be on skyinclude.com slash website dash guide. And I hope I tied together all the pieces, and I hope I made this simple. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, domain, hosting, you know, DNS management, and SSL security. Thank you.